Hey guys, it's me, Wish from the Code City, and today we will be integrating Fire. Uh, sorry, we will be integrating Crashlytics in our Android app. So, first of all, we need a Fabric account because Crashlytics is provided by Fabric. So, go to fabric.io. Now, click on Get Fabric, and just write your details. Enter the email that uh, you use because they will send a confirmation email. And after you have confirmed, you will get some options like I'll show. Let me show you. Let's go to fabric.io. I'm not signing up because I already have a fab I already have a fabric account. So I'll just log in. All right, so. These are the options that you will get. As of now, we are creating Android app, so we will click on Android. <coughs> so uh, this is our uh, sign up step. Now we need to install Fabric plugin in our Android Studio. So we'll leave it as it is now and open up your Android Studio. Let me create a new project as I don't want to integrate Crashlytics in this uh, project. So create a new project. Let's just say crash report app and I'll just write the good city.com <coughs> okay do this alright just hit next we don't need an activity or uh, uh, let's create an empty act empty activities because that way we'll have to do less work. Okay. So it is finished. <coughs> now you don't need to do this step if you already have a project and you all you want to integrate crash statics in your project that is already open. Just open your project that in in which you want to integrate crash statics. Let this build. Okay, so I'm missing this thing. Uh, I'll leave it as it is. You don't need this now. I'll show you how to integrate Fabric. How uh, the download Fabric plugin. So go to settings. Click on plugins and just search for Fabric. Alright, search in repositories. Now click install. Now this is downloading Fabric for Android Studio. This way, it will be installed to Android Studio, and you will be able to easily add Crashlytics and all the other tools provided by Fabric to any of your project very easily. Let us finish downloading. All right, so now just click on Restart Android Studio, and we will be ready to roll. All right, let this restart. Okay, it's not restarting by itself. Okay, let's click on Restart. Alright, so once Android Studio is restarted, you will be able to see this blue icon. Now this is Fabric, so click on it. Uh, click on this power button. See, I'm able to see my organization name. You will be able to see what your organization name uh, that you had put in while registering, while signing up. Just click on next. Now you should uh, be able to see the the stuff gets that fabric provides <coughs> there's a lot of lot of kits but now we are focused on crash ethics so let us just finish checking <coughs> sorry all right so now it is ready just click on crash ethics now you are able to see uh, this uh, Forza Crash and user information. You can check this if you want. It's just a mock-up of how you can generate a crash to check if crash this is working properly or not. Let's click on install. Now what this install does is it makes the following changes. It adds these dependencies, these maven URLs, and this plugin. You can do this manually, but let's click on apply. 
uh, and it will be done automatically for you all right so now you can minimize this and if you go to your app you'll be able to see these things are added and these are not here on the first place in the first place so just click on sync now Once the app, uh, once your syncing is complete, you can you should uh, run this app somewhere in the emulator or in a real device so that you'll be able to see the changes uh, and see your app registered in here. So let's run it. I've already run it. I'm just waiting for it to finish running on my phone. All right. So our app is running in my phone. Now uh, we didn't have to create any activity or any layouts as we had selected, as we have selected uh, sh uh, show this main activity by default. So this is the default page of. If you select add me add an add an activity, so now if you go to this thing, and then we reload, we should be able to see our app that is registered. But uh, oh, you, can, you just click on this go to dashboard now we see now we can see that we have this crash report app this is the name of our app and uh, there are no errors at the moment all right what is real time and let's just click uh, I have read and accept the fabric analytics terms as it will <coughs> allow real time crash analytics now there are no errors at the moment this is the logo that we are using no errors at the moment but let's generate an error let's just add a button uh, a, a button okay add a button a button and now just let's let's just do a button dot set on click listener on click listener and and just do nothing here all right, now we just need to run our app and just click on the run button or the shortcut is shift F10, then it run. It should crash after the app starts itself <coughs> as we have not referenced any button to this A button. Okay, so my app has started and crashed in my phone as I think we can see that in the log. As you can see, the error is null pointer exception and uh, uh, invoke virtual method set on click listener on null object reference on main activity line 9, line 19. So, this is the error. Now, we, we can uh, see in fabric. Let's see what happens. Now this shouldn't take this long. I am not sure what the issue is. Maybe I'll just you know, open another tab. Search for our app. Okay, so this is there is some problem with their site I think because when this new loaded we can see this main activity the java line 19 we can already see the crash here and so it's pretty fast that's uh, it's real it's in real time uh, you get an email as soon as there is a crash and the cra there are a lot of analytics <coughs> you can see the device is xiaomi operating system is 7 and free space was this much when the device crashed uh, when the app crashed and the available ram was 2.42 gigabytes when the app crashed so there are a lot of details you can see a lot of details you can check the raw error and it's the same thing that we saw in log file uh, in log cat all right so this is it this is how you can you can integrate crash detects in your android app now this is just one device now and one crash 
in a real published app there are a lot of crashes and a lot of devices so this analytics tool is really helpful okay so that's all for today it's pretty simple and if you have any problem just uh, write down in the comment section below thanks for joining me again and if this video helped you click like and subscribe thank you see you in the next video